thanks for watching another episode of Blake Clan Health and Fitness. I'm Brian. This is Dave. And we research it so you don't got them. Whoop whoop. So check this, y'all. You're thirsty. You know, you're one thirsty motherfucker and you done just worked out. You're covered in sweat and tired. Oh man, you're so tired. What are you gonna grab to drink? Since you need some energy, a monster, a Red Bull, maybe a chilled to perfection rock star sounds pretty good, don't it? So tasty. Energy drinks. You see them everywhere, advertised on TV and magazines, and it seems like every time you go to the store, there's a new energy gimmick just sitting there, waiting for you to try it out. You got energy drinks designed for sports? Energy drinks designed just for women. Energy drinks for fat kids, sissy kids, even kids with chicken pox. But not for little kids, because that's bad for them. You get them little bottles of energy. Little bottles. Designed to be gunned down in the middle of the day at work. Have you ever read the ingredients of some of these things? It's mostly caffeine, which you can find anywhere. Is it really any better than coffee in the morning? Well, you don't get brown teeth from chugging a Red Bull, dog. No, you don't. No, but how about vascular restrictions? That's when your blood vessels restrict growing smaller and putting more pressure on your heart. I ain't never heard of someone having a heart attack over no energy drinks, dog. No, the people who overdose usually die from dehydration, another effect of high levels of caffeine in the drinks. It's pretty extreme cases, though you've got to drink well over the recommended doses to actually die from them. Wait. So you can die from too much energy drink. That's fucked up. Yeah, but there are other less severe side effects that you can experience. For instance, since the caffeine restricts blood vessels, then it can hurt your muscle gains. Oh yeah, like NO enlarges them veins to get the maximum blood flow through your body. And energy drinks do the opposite. Sugar is also a problem. The average energy drink has tons of refined sugar. Refined sugar, man. It's the tasty sugar that you find in most drinks these days that's cheap to produce but has no nutrients in it. And since it has no nutrients on its own, it leaches calcium out of your bones. You could get all osteo stiff neck fucked up against and shit. Osteoporosis. Yeah, that shit too, dog. No thank you. I think I'm going to stick with my green tea. Yeah. Check out the ingredients of that. What am I looking for? Mono, dextro, fucko, asso. Oh, shit, it's got high fructose corn syrup in it, B. Man, give me that bottle of liquid fat. What the fuck? Maybe I should give me something with aspartame. Give me some dead body juice. What the fuck am I supposed to drink, B? You can always stick with the classics. Here, take a drink. Take your damn water. I don't want no water. Caffeine in that bitch. One last thing we got for y'all before we end this bitch is we understand that you're going to drink some of this stuff anyway. So, with that being the case, I'm going to do a little taste test to see which of these taste the best. I highly would not recommend that. Chill out, bitch. Chill out. I'm just going to take like one gulp of each. It's not, gonna, it, it's not a big deal. And what could go wrong? Keep energy drinks under the desk? Yes! I get tired when you start talking all science. I get all fucking bored and shit. Alright. feeling? Be, be, I think I can see tomorrow. I see it. 
Call the hospital again. Yeah, word B. The number's still in the speed dial. Thanks for watching another episode of Blade Clan Health and Fitness. We drink it so you don't got it. Here, have some water. Ice chips, a bitch.